you i hope you're well i hope you're looking after yourself and that you had a really good week it's time to leave willington it's been a really good spot this really recommend it and really i want to find somewhere this week where there's a lot of dandelions and i'll tell you why when we get there but let's enjoy the cruise are you ready for a cruise i'm ready for a cruise Oh, you're not ready for a cruise? Oh, really? <laughs> I just I forgot Mr. Mindful. <laughs> so rule number one, always check you've got your crew with you before you take off. Okay, on the left hand side we are approaching Mercia Marina which is Britain's largest inland marina. I think there's over 600 berths here for your boat and I think I'll take you in actually and show you. It's, it's definitely worth a stop. The owner of this beautiful boat, Sabrina, who is a viewer of the channel and invited me in. So Chris is the one without the fur and it was so kind of him to show us his gorgeous boat which he's just moved on to. And past the drop down table, underneath the bow is the bed. The boats aside, I fell in love with Alfie. So, past Mercy and Marina, along the Trent and Mersey, we go. What a spectacular piece of art that is. Now wherever you go in this area, and actually within 25 miles of the area of Wellington, you will see these. Five 91 metre high cooling towers. And they remind me of salt and pepper shakers. And now I really want a bag of chips. So the right hand side here through the trees you'll make out some water and that is a ballast pool and what that means is when they built the railway they dug holes for the ballast which they used to build the railway and that has left these pools behind and they've now been turned into little nature spots. So when you move your home every week and you live on board a narrowboat, you discover these things all the time. But is it a forever home?
So do I want to live anywhere else? Some recent events have made me start to think practically for once. And that's one of the things I've been thinking, what happens when physically we can't manage the locks anymore? But you know, this way of life really suits me. I know it's not for everyone, but it really suits me. And it's the first time in my life that I just don't want to be anywhere else. I don't think, oh, I wish I was there. I'm just glad to be here. However, if I'm being truly honest with you, and I'm always going to be honest with you, I just don't see how this sort of life can be our forever home. So, as long as everything's okay and going well for us in the next four years, we're going to stay as we are, and then we're going to see if it's still working for us after four years. But that's a lot of adventures we can all have in that time and I really hope you're going to stick with me and keep following the journey. So I feel a bit scared because this is a double log, it's deep. But I would rather drive than operate the whole paddles because they're really stiff. So we'll just have to see what it's like inside. And this is right by where the old Derby Canal used to run before it was built over, just where that bridge is there. I think it's time we found somewhere to moor so we can get on with the paint work that we need to do on the boat. So keep your eyes peeled for a good mooring spot. What an absolutely glorious evening. It's just stunning. I think just over here is good, overlooking the River Trent, and that's a perfect spot. Okay, I'm going in. Wish me luck.
So two sand downs, three coats of primer and check out how I get on next week. And now I'm going to go out and try to find some dandelions on my walk with Zephyr this morning. So why am I looking for dandelions? Well, because I'm a vegan, I can't eat honey and I quite miss the flavour and taste of honey. And apparently you can make dandelion honey. I've never done it before. I really don't know what I'm doing. But step one is to actually find some dandelions. I get on with the honey well at the beginning it started really well it looked and it sort of smelt like honey but then I think it went wrong at the boiling point or the simmering point because uh, it's more it's more like tar now Taproot struggle before the leaf, fighting through the earth to shine. The courage and bite of lion's teeth brings forth the sun of our prime. And there we glow, each petal alight, welcoming many a guest, for a while forgetting our earlier plight as among the grasses we rest. But petals will fall one by one, the gold will slip to grey soon. Our days no longer yellow as sun, but soft as a silvery moon, full of wishes as seeds they grow, a symbol of hope to hold high, until it's time for the wind to blow and carry our stars to the sky. <laughs> 